The booth of the restaurant. That's amazing. So good, isn't it? Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Um, if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing our channel and potentially leaving us a comment, that would be great. So we've just got back from Dubrovnik. Um, as you can see, a bit, bit of colour. So we've just done a short video just to show some of the things that we thought are worth doing if you're going to Dubrovnik anytime soon, sort of top things and a few recommendations on places to eat. So yeah, we hope this is helpful and enjoy the video. First off, you get a really nice view of Dubrovnik and the old town when flying in from the airport. On the left hand side of the plane. Um, so this is Old Town Dubrovnik, um, it's absolutely stunning, absolutely beautiful, full of culture, you can really feel the history when you're around there can't you? Yeah, it's just um, just a lovely place to just walk around, there's lots of little streets like this that go sort of off the main road, so lots of little nooks and crannies and places to explore, um, and then museums and art galleries and beautiful churches, so there's plenty to do um, and something for everyone really. Um, the dock area is really worth a visit, um, there is a pirate boat that does a tour around the local area which we didn't do, but I sort of wish we did do. Um, before we went we were told about this, um, it's jumping on a rock and you get, um, is it before we fall in love? It's supposed to be, yes, yeah, some good luck for love or something, so if you go into the old town by the pile gate, which is the main entrance, and just walk down, and it's literally just on the left. Go on. He did it. Hang on, let me call you my phone. I didn't. You didn't do it, Mel. And whilst walking around the city, you see a lot of Game of Thrones reference, including the Walk of Shame. So another thing that we'd recommend doing is the walk around the old town walls. Um, so we got up really early to do this, so it opens at 8 o'clock, so I'd recommend getting there for 8, um, just so you can beat the crowds. Might be a bit windy, but the views are beautiful, and there's lots of little cafes along the way so you can stop and get a drink. So we got the Dubrovnik City Pass, um, which we recommend doing just because it's the same price for that as it is to just do the walls. Um, and then you get access to all the museums around the walls as well as some of the museums and art galleries down in the in the old town so it's definitely worth doing that and then you can make um, a bit of a day of it but yeah it was a lovely walk wasn't it the views were amazing and a cat and a cat yeah a few little cats around um, but yeah we were quite lucky really that it was cloudy so it was quite cool which was which made made everything very dramatic, um, but it was just some of the views are absolutely incredible. It's a whole new angle to the city, and you just generally explore bits which you don't actually think about, do you, to get the best views possible. Yeah, and it's around 5,000 steps, so it's not um, that strenuous. And then there's me waving. I would really recommend you going to Kapari. Um, Amy saw it before we went. It's an amazing complex of places. It's a Yugoslavian army. Uh, old group of hotels um, which are now abandoned and have been abandoned since 1991. Yeah, um, so they were destroyed as part of the Croatian war um, because the Croatian army were hiding in there and then ironically even though the Yugoslavian army funded the building of this place they sort of attacked and bombed and shot um, to flush out the um, the army and it's left these abandoned buildings which is great for anyone into urban exploration but yeah it's a bit eerie and makes you it kind of I don't know we both got like chills didn't we yeah it's, it's like... a bit of a weird place because it's such a touristy place for the locals as well so um, as you've seen previously in the video it's real nice beaches and 
it's full of locals, isn't it? Just locals having a really good time. But some of the views you get from inside these buildings are incredible. Um, there's real like little hints to where like what used to be there as well. Like um, there's like key boxes, the old reception area, mattresses. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just really like a bit of an amazing position, isn't it? Like with this bit where it's like the old like derelict building, and the, but the views are just stunning. Plus the graffiti is really good in there as well. Lunch with a view. So this was a little restaurant we found in the old town, um, which was really good. Um, I think that's one of their traditional dishes, which was beef and gnocchi, and then you have the sea bass, and we have the calamari to start, which was amazing. So it's called, um, well, I'll put in Aroma, that's the ice cream place next, but it's next door to that. So it's down the main high street, and then off one of the roads, on the right so if you can see there's pile gate and that's about where it is and then next door is um this place called aroma which does the best ice cream i think either of us have ever had hasn't it yeah 100 uh, percent. well you're going to see our reaction in a minute go on then try it pistachio it is so good that's incredible. And then banana. I haven't tried the banana. I've tried the white chocolate and that's amazing. So good, isn't it? It's a good Aroma. Aroma. So this um, is a place called Buzzer Bar. Um, and you'll see the signs there. It's kind of pointing the arrow up and then you walk up um, this little path. Um, very pretty. And then turn the corner and then up this path and then you just go through a little hole in the wall and it's then a cafe bar uh, with beautiful views looking out across the sea so unfortunately we couldn't get a table there but we went and had a quick look but we wish we could have done because it looked, looked amazing. One thing which I truly would recommend doing is the cable car. Um, it's got the best views of Dubrovnik, Old Town, New Town and the sea in Lockram Island. Um, it wasn't too expensive. Um, it was about £23 each to go up and down, um, which I suppose it is quite a lot but the views you get are incredible aren't they? And we went up, as you can see, just before sunset which we didn't even plan and it was the best idea. It like some of the views are absolutely incredible as yeah, as that. you'll see in a minute that like it was just amazing at the top and just wow. We wanted more time there to be honest because we only really explored the local area of Dubrovnik and where we were staying. Yeah, and we had a few chill days by the pool as well. So, yeah, definitely recommend going. And I think hopefully we'll be going back. There's yes. just too many places we want to go and see, but yeah, hopefully we'll go back. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Um, like we said previously, like and subscribe the video and comment, please comment. And uh, yeah, see, see you guys you. soon. Bye.